Hello, Hopkins neighbors. Today is Friday, May 29th, and I want to make sure that you're safe and healthy and that your family and friends are safe and sound as well. Being safe has had so many meetings during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, but even more so this week, as we watch tragic events unfold across the Twin Cities. I, like you, have been struggling for finding the proper emotions, the anger, the frustration, the sympathy, the sadness, and even cautious hope. And I wanna share with you some thoughts from the city of Hopkins and I wanna read the statement to you because words, though may seem hollow, as Governor Walls pointed out, that we need action, but let's start with understanding where we're coming from. The Hopkins City Council and our staff, including our colleagues at the Hopkins Police Department, extend our condolences and deepest sympathy to the family, friends, and loved ones of George Floyd. Mr. Floyd was a resident of St. Louis Park, our neighboring community. He could easily have been one of our own. Here in Hopkins, we consider a rich diversity to be one of our greatest assets. We do not and will not tolerate racism of any kind. Our hearts break for our black community and all communities of color who are not only hurting because of this senseless act, but who have been hurting for many decades as a result of years and years of systematic racism. The City of Hopkins vision statement clearly states, creating a spirit of community where all people feel safe and respected and diversity is celebrated. We do know that this statement does not ring true for many right now. We at the city have work to do, and we are committed to doing our part to dismantle racism and help make our community feel safe and welcoming to everyone. We want to reinforce to our staff and community the importance of speaking up if and when you see something is wrong. This includes all of our first responders. To build trust within our community, we must be willing to hold each other and ourselves accountable to our standards and the oath that we have sworn to protect. We also ask our residents to take time to reflect on what we all can be doing to further race equity in our community. Listen to your neighbors. Educate yourselves in ways you can be an ally to our black community and all communities of color. We invite anyone with concerns to reach out to us. We see you and we will hear what you have to say. I said words that help bring us together, but it is up to us now. We each have to be active participants in order to see the evolution of our society and see the evolution of what we can do together. Like I said, words cannot comfort, but let us start there. Stay well.